Ah, the golden years, the autumn of our lives. But for many seniors, especially those with age-related dementia, those years are anything but golden. And for the adult children who have to watch their parents decline, this is a time of reflection, renewed hope, and inspired faith. My next guest personifies all of this and oh, so much more. I am so pleased to be joined here this morning with singer-songwriter Amy Grant. And we are here at her beautiful farm just outside Nashville, Tennessee. Amy, good morning to you. Thank you. I am glad. This is such a beautiful, beautiful place. How many acres do you have here? Um, well, three of us bought a 700-acre farm. It was going to be developed. Okay. So um, it's enough to get lost on. I would love to get lost here. <laughs> Maybe with a blanket today. Yeah, it's a chilly day it's today. Chilly, yes. You know, one of the things, I was so excited when I was told I was going to be doing this interview because I've been so inspired by you. I've listened to your music. Something about your journey and the inspirational message behind it has really been inspirational for me. And now you're on this new journey, dealing with parents with dementia. And I know your mom had dementia and she died uh, a couple of years ago. Now yes. your father um, is dealing with dementia. How many years has this been going on for you? Since about 2009, we really noticed it. Your life changed when you started dealing with your parents with dementia, but was there a moment that you knew your dad had turned the corner, or was it more of a gradual decline? Interesting you ask that, because in the end of 2008, I came home, I had done a lot of touring that fall, and I saw such a pronounced change in my, in my mom and dad. And I called my manager and said, cancel everything for 2009. Did you know at that point or have an inkling or you just knew something's different here? I just knew something was different and I didn't know how much time we had. And so we, um, my mother was getting so frail, but it was during 2009, like every week I would go, Dad, you're talking differently than you did last week. And so he hit that slippery slope of really fast progressing dementia. Um, but you know, Danielle, in a way it was, it's a crazy kind of gift because my father adored my mother. We talked with my dad about things that mattered to him. He said, I want to stay with your mom. And um, we just slowly had the discussion about not driving. We transferred power of attorney. I mean, it's tough, <laughs> you know, but things happen all the time to families. What were the lowest of the lows, those moments where you're like, I'm losing my mom, I'm losing my dad? Yeah. Well, you know, my dad spent his entire, uh, this is hard to talk about. I know that this is just, uh, this is the way their lives will end. But nothing in me, not one part of me believes that this is really the end of them. But there are moments I feel my mother more present than I did in the last three years of her life. Is there a special memory that you have of your dad here? Oh my goodness. Well, many actually. Some of the best stuff happened inside. Come on in. Some of the best stuff happened in here. So he loved coming and building a fire, and sometimes we'd bring a picnic. And it just, it didn't require a lot of words. And he would just say, it's beautiful. You know, do you know the song? I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the joy we share As we tarry there My dad will direct me. <laughs> None other has ever known the only word I can think of is beautiful. The same word your dad used yeah. right here in front of this fire. Yeah. 
So I wanted us to come outside to end this because what better way than this beautiful, beautiful vision of this farm, the memories of your mom and your dad here. And for me personally, I can't tell you how wonderful this has been for me. It really has been. Mm. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, this is how